All you're gonna do is Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is uh, Dave with Dini Performance. It's been a while since I've made a video. I've been pretty busy. Um, been a lot of stuff going on. Uh, so, the new project that is going to be coming into the garage. I've also had a lot of customer cars coming in. So, I'm kind of probably just going to veer away from that and just concentrate on my own stuff. Um, so what I got in the works right now, I'm just kind of getting all the parts together for it. Uh, the car's not here, it's over in the storage yard, but I'm going to be doing an SM95 LS swap. And the reason that I'm doing the SM95 is I picked up the car for relatively no money. Uh, I got 500 bucks, I picked the car up for like 500 bucks. So what I'm going to do is strip the car and sell off everything that I can sell off um, in order to go back into the car for for more parts because I still am missing quite a few parts um, I picked up, I don't know if you guys can see it right there so I picked up this 8.8 um, .8 from a Ford Mustang and uh, that's going to be going into it. I I've, I've still have to do a lot of stuff to that before it goes into the car, though. Um, I've got the wheels for it, a bunch of parts. Um, most of the parts for that, um, I'm missing. I have the motor. Uh, we're going boosted on this one. So uh, I already have the turbo. A lot of the turbo stuff's already here. Uh, Holly, Holly Terminator, so we're going injected, no carbureted stuff. To me, I don't really care. Power is power. It doesn't matter what it comes from. Um, carbureted or fuel injected. But on this bu particular build, and I've been getting really familiar with how to use the Holly Terminator and all the functions that it has, it's, it's incredible. So I've already, um, I've already ordered, I've already, already ordered that. That's already here. Uh, we are going with a undisclosed, can't tell you what kind of, don't know the cubic inch size, not going to tell you. I mean, everything else I'm going to show you, you're just not going to know the cubic inch of that motor. You can guess all you want, you're not going to know it. I'm not disclosing it. Um, but it is a stock bottom end, completely stock bottom end with, with a ring gap. Uh, I did end up um, making the rod bearing clearances a little bit looser just for the boost. Uh, the um, Also the crank bearing uh, uh, clearances are a little bit looser than the factory stuff just because of the boost. Uh, but it's completely stock bottom end so stock crank, stock rod, stock pistons. Uh, everybody knows and there's a bajillion videos out on there of how much LS makes with stock stuff, stock bomb in. Uh, other than that, the camshaft, the heads, we're using stock heads, uh, 862s. I did a little bit of port work to those. Those are at the machine shop at the moment. Getting, um, they are getting uh, new valves, uh, uh, new guides, and a lot of other stuff that they need. Uh, valve job, surface, all that. Uh, already have pretty much the whole top end of the motor. Um, the motor, it, the only thing I'm really waiting on to, to finish the assembly on the motor is the heads to come back from the machine shop and then I can finish up assembling. So I already have the drive line. Uh, big, big, huge drive line right here. Um, it's a 1350, so we're going to use this drive line. I'm probably going to have to have this thing cut down because this was for, uh, it was for the C10. The uh, C10 is gone. I sold that a long time ago. Um, so I've been doing, I've been doing a lot of uh, customer stuff uh, for the last probably almost a year. Doing any more customer stuff. Uh, if you got, maybe if they have like a little odd end job here or there, you know, possibly, but as far as like full on swaps or anything like that, I'm just going to stay away from other people's stuff on that. 
just kind of concentrate on mine. Um, I have this little system where, you know, I bring a car in <clears throat> and well, will either, because the angle on this uh, SM95 is I'm probably going to run it for a little, little bit, get all the bugs worked out of it. And then, you know, what I'll do is um, I'll end up selling it because that brings the income in. And uh, and that that's how, um, that's how I kind of make things work. Uh, I'm going to try to upload more content. There's going to be more. Since I got this SM95 and this is mine, it's not customer stuff. I don't like filming customer stuff. Um, this is my stuff, so I'll end up filming this and, and, you know, the build process and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to put you guys on the tripod. And then you can see me knock out this these uh, bushings without having to spend 40 bucks for the tool. Because, I mean, what... If you're not doing these all the time, then why buy the tool? You know what I mean? And uh, it doesn't make any sense to me. So, I, you know, I was looking at it, and then and then I saw somebody uh, doing it, like doing a certain way, and I was like, I don't even need the tool. So, and these tools, you can knock these bushings out. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but it's doable. So, um, let me go get the, the tripod. I'll, I'll set you guys up on the tripod, and then... Um, Okay, guys, I couldn't find the uh, the tripod, one of the, the adapter for the tripod, so I'm just going to sit you on this little seat. But, um, so, this is one of the tools you'll need, sledgehammer. And I think that's pretty much it. I think I got it out with just this. Um, I was using this right here. I was using this bar. But it really wasn't working once I got to this other point, so I just ended up getting it out. Like this. All you're gonna do is and sometimes the S is one came out, so we'll see what happens here. You'll just pretty much, once you get to that point, then you can just kind of hit it on the sides, and that's it. You don't need to buy it. All right, this is Dave with DME Forms. Thanks for watching. Uh, again, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the flip. Thanks.